there's several offerings of this deal in the Cass Hanway line. Um, the catalogs will, will uh, show you which ones they are, and some of the blades are here at the show. This is a gay offering called Old Pine because of the kosheray. The kosheray are fittings. This has an old, old pine mitt putty. Okay. So you can see this blade doesn't drag the cut the same way. Another high alloy steel blade, it's just in, in different mounts. So when you're cutting, there's all kinds of reasons for cutting. If you saw the video that we have in there, that was sword testing, okay? And that's a different thing than practicing for, say, Kenjutsu or function. So we have, we have different kata that we do that we'll sometimes practice our Tameshiguri with the kata. This particularly in the Iaijutsu kata where I'm backing away from a person to gain distance, and then I pull the sai off, drop the blade down so it's hard for him to see the blade. And as he cuts me, my blade comes up, kicks his blade, and you cut it back. Okay? And there's different kamai that you can cut from. Okay, Kamai are positions. You'll see very frequently you'll see this position being used. Okay, head strikes like head shots are one of the fastest ways to put somebody down. So samurai use them a lot as well. You'll also different different types of cuts from this angle called kesegiri. And the reasons for that are many. One, you miss the head and you come down through the side, uh, cut through the clavicle, subclavian, subclavian, subclavian artery, open the chest, hard lungs. The other thing was, you might do that on the battlefield to avoid hitting the cover to our helmet. Okay? And swords are swords. The people made the swords, made the armor. Okay. So, when we're moving here, the power doesn't drive off the front side. It's a completely different movement. The power comes from my left hip turning back. Okay? So, my hand arm and my left side that's what makes this. The closer in to the center of mass I can generate the power, the less movement I have to have. If I have to really make big, this all looks great except there's no deception there. It's like guys are coming at you to fight like this, right? So what you want to be able to do is move your body and sword as little as possible to make the cut. As little amount of preparation. So separating and swinging or cut by, if you can get somebody not to pay attention in or stand there long enough to go through that motion. Okay? So, that's why this study takes a little bit longer to do properly. You know, people say, well, how do you get, how do you get those to sit like that? Well, you get that by that first cut. It doesn't disturb the mat. It cuts all the way through there and the mat's still sitting there in a the moment trying to decide whether it's hurt or not. We're not real smart, unfortunately. <laughs> they don't run either, which helps me. That will fight back. So, the deception is, if I move this hand first, the eye picks up that movement. But as I turn and my body moves away, the eye loses the sword being drawn. This is especially valuable at night in places where they had candles and campfires, right? They didn't have electric lighting everywhere. And the same, stay there for a moment. The same would be true from the back. If he's here, okay, as I'm turning for the moment, I let the sword sit in space. So literally, if someone was holding my hand, my sword's not moving. And then as I turn, the hand drops behind and he's got a sword blade there. Remember what I showed you earlier, if he was coming down with his, I would just reach up, put the blade past me, and cut in the gap that's left. The blocking and smashing that you see on television, we all know Hollywood is all about fantasy. There's nothing in any of those shows that's real. It's all fantasy. Okay? Smashing and banging swords together makes it really good for the soundstage guys in the audience. It's like those cars that have secondary and tertiary explosions. Where did they come from? 
or big bar, you know, those grenades that they can throw from here to that car, blows a car over, the guy's not even hurt. I want one of those. <laughs> I don't know where you can get them because I haven't seen them, but I go back. Okay, so if I push, if I drive off of this this way, okay, we have contesting. If I reach through, it just reaches through him. Okay? So it's a whole different movement. And the strike then is done like the sword. It doesn't have to move far. And where did this come from? Not too more equal. Because I know I can't outrun you. But then I got an extra knife. Stay away from all guys with knife, right? Okay. So if I come through here and cut as hard as I can, where's that pressure go? It goes down to his feet. This sword will split the whole front of his chest open. And he's dead. Just he doesn't know it yet. Right? Like this shot with M855 ball when they're still shooting back at you. Okay? He can cut through all this, but because the sword's so sharp, there's not a lot of shocking power. So, the sword cuts. If I twist, he feels the twist in his feet. If I cut the way I'm doing the mats, he doesn't feel that. He's displaced. Okay? He's displaced. I need to change distance here because if I'm within range, that means he's within range. Does that make sense? Okay. And this would be the same for empty hand. You gather them. Okay. You gather them. You don't push them. I push them. He can push back. Okay. I gather them. He can't push back, even though he's trying in a moment. I can't take him much further than this. Okay. Feel the difference? Okay. It helps those of us who aren't young, strong, and good looking. That's him. Old and crusty, that's me, right? So, if you watch the left hip, I'll exaggerate this a little bit, okay? okay. Left hip moving. Left hip moving. If I'm cutting from left to right, then it's right hip moving. Okay, right hip moving. So, whichever direction to cut, that's the position the hip is moving. Now that can get very small depending on how much energy you need for the cut. If you're cutting a person and they're not armored, they're just wearing cotton, silk, and skin, well, the cut doesn't have to have so much energy in it. Okay? This is more power than it would take to cut off a leg. So, same coming around the sky, Kimiyage. Okay? Coming here, the hip moves back not leaning or pressing on the sword. If I lean and press on the sword, it doesn't want to cut properly, right? Sword was placed in different positions for a reason. If it was a clan situation, my sword would go on my right, edge in, okay? Because this is a non-threatening, hard to get to. If I was someplace I wasn't too sure about the guys, but I wasn't trying to be too pro pro provocative, the sword could go on the left side but edge in. It doesn't really make much difference because when you teach yourself to draw from here, it's just as easy to come out of here like this, okay, as it if it's edge out. But where the edge is says a lot in a society where everything was defined by warrior courtesy and where the blade was, okay? Edge out like this, of course, put me in a completely different position. But if I was here, we have rolls and stuff from here. Sometimes you'd invade first, but you also come down and you'd slap the side normally, but I'm not going to scrape it across the asphalt and just take the blade and draw with it left-handed, okay? I'll show a left-handed draw with the wagisashi a little later, okay? And different styles have many little secret techniques that they use depending upon the situation they might be in. 